Hi friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 19 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about when and otherwise functions in PySpark. So, this when and otherwise functions are similar to case statement what you use in SQL. For example, you want to validate with some condition. If the condition is true, you want to get some data. If the condition is false, you want to get some different data. So, in such scenarios, you will use this when and otherwise functions. So, it is very commonly used functions on top of the columns in data frame in PySpark actually. So, that's why I chosen to explain this with one small example now. So, let me practically show one example here. So, let's go to our browser. Here, I have already opened my Databricks workspace. Let me go to workspace, users my username and here let's try to create a new notebook and let me name this notebook as maybe when notebook okay python is a default language this is my cluster let me hit create button to create my notebook here my notebook got created let me close this tooltip and here let's try to create one small data frame first so if you have seen my previous videos by this time you already know how to create a data frame with hard coded values. I would strongly encourage you to watch all my videos in the PySpark playlist in the sequence order. Why? Because all the videos in a sequential order, one after another, from basic to advanced level. Okay. So let's try to declare a variable called data here. And in this variable, I am going to pass a list which is list of tuples. So two tuples, let me pass it here. And in the first tuple, maybe this is like an ID column then maybe this is name column and maybe let's assume this is a gender column okay and then maybe salary column also so this is this will become first row in the data frame then let me copy this and here let me repaste it so second row i want like two wafa or maybe like let's say rc and this is female so f and here salary maybe three thousand okay and then let's try to add third row as well here so for the third row what i will be doing it here is so i will be adding a id column value like 3 and maybe a b c d as a value and there is no mail mentioned here okay so let's think like these are the three rows of the data so in which first row has male gender m second row is female so f so it is unknown gender actually so there is no uh, gender value specified here let's try to create another variable called schema here and in schema variable i am passing a list of column name so id column and we have a name column and we have a gender column so let me use with a single quotes gender column and then finally we have a salary column okay so now if you have seen my previous videos by this time you already know that spark keyword will give you spark session object and to this I can pass my data and schema variables to create a data frame. That data frame I am storing in df variable here. Now, if I do df.show and if I hit shift enter to execute this cell, I should able to see my data frame created with three rows where this becomes a column names and these are the rows actually. So let's wait for command to run here. You can see I got my data perfectly fine. But now let's assume this is the data which I get it from my source and now from this data frame I want to transform this gender column values as male and female based on the value available here. So if column value contains M then I should update it as a male. If it is F then I should update it as a female. If nothing is there then maybe unknown. So that's how I want to update this. I want to transform this data frame actually. So how to do that? In this scenario I can use when and otherwise functions actually. Let me practically show you this now. So before showing that, if I go to screenshot, if you see, it's a similar data frame on which I am applying when function here and I am passing my condition here. Okay. And then if this condition met, I want to update that value as a male. I mean, I want male value to come there. If this condition met, then I want to get female as a value actually. So this is how you can use when 
and if no condition met then it will go to otherwise function and it will take this value into that column so let me show you this practically now so let's go back here so now df dot there is something called select function to which i can pass my column names which i want to get it so i want to get maybe df dot id column i want to get and also on top of data frame i have a name column and then in the gender column maybe i want to get values in a different fashion so here i will be using a when function actually so to use that firstly you need to import that from so sorry so here from pyspark dot sql dot functions we can import there is something called when function okay so we can import that okay so only when function is required so now here in the when function to the when function i can supply a value so let me cut this and i can use help also whenever you don't know how that function or class or module works use a help function to see the documentation of it and here it will clearly explain it will take two parameters condition parameter value parameter and these are the examples so define a condition if this condition is true then this value will be considered otherwise this value will be taken so that is how it will work so let me use the same thing here so df dot select to select a columns and i am selecting id column name column and in the gender column i am using one function now and in the when function now i will be defining when condition right df dot gender equals to so gender column we need to make sure this spellings are correct so if gender is m then second parameter is value right then i want to get a value as male okay you got it then after that again after this when condition directly i can use otherwise function or you can use another when condition also because when value is m i want to get male but when value is f i want to get female right so what i can do here again i can use this dot when then again df dot gender equals to f then i want to get a female value okay so let me use the female value in a single quotes so once all that is done then i can simply use otherwise sorry one second so let me use otherwise and in the otherwise function whatever the value you want so when there is a value m male will come when there is a value f female will come otherwise that means i should get like unknown value so gender as unknown okay so this is how it should it, it will be working so if you see the screenshot also the same way one small mistake i did it here here these are the conditions that means from this whatever the value i get that i want to compare with this value right so when you are comparing you should use comparison operator that is double equals to if i use single equals to it will become like a assignment act operator right so that correction we can do so once all this is done this entire code is going to generate a new data frame basically so that new data frame i want to store it in a df1 and then here below i can use df1 dot show function so let me use sorry so let me use df1 dot show and let's hit shift enter button to execute this cell now if you clearly see id column came name column came now i get gender column values are male female and unknown everything look good but this column name came very lengthy why this column name became like this because here whatever the expression you use that entire thing will become a column name actually okay so instead i want to get a column name differently so what i can do here dot you can give some alias name so i can use like this entire uh, logic should be executed and based on the logic the values should be updated in the data frame but for that data frame for that column object i want to use gender as a column name so that's why i am using a alias operator here now if i hit shift enter i should see gender as a column name and i should i will be seeing my column values also as changed so how i can able to do that using this when and otherwise operators so i think you got it right how how it works it is very easy and also one more thing whenever uh, if, if writing code in the single line it if it makes you confused so you can try to split it into multiple rows for example after this i want to split it into multiple row use the slash and hit enter so i want to get id column then name column slash 
enter then in the third column place when gender male m then male will come and then after that i want to have a slash here maybe slash dot again when gender is f then female then slash otherwise this one and then final bracket i want to get it at the last so like this you can split it into multiple rows so that you can easily understand it will be easy for you to read the code and understand what is exactly happening there okay so i hope now with this you got an understand like how when and otherwise operators will work so as i said it is similar to case statement in the sql only so thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much